Hello, Captain. So this is going to be the release tutorial for my Eaton Fuller 18-speed transmission. This will also be the tutorial for the 10-speed transmission. So you can use this one tutorial. We'll tell you how to hook up either. So when you open up the build, it's going to look like this. You can replace the seat if you want. The only thing I'll show you here is on the up-down axis, I use my up-down arrows to shift gears. This is a manual transmission, not making an automatic. I have no interest in automatics. I only run manuals. I get bored with automatics. So my axis four is my up-down arrows. It's set to reset 100%. What that means is when I press the up arrow, it's going to give me a value of one. When I press the down arrow, it's going to give me a value of negative one. When I let go of both arrows, it's going to give me a value of zero. And this allows me to turn that essentially into a on button for up and an on button for down, and then they auto reset. All right, so that seat is connected here. If we look at the composite node, seat is connected right here to the driver's seat. This will be what inputs your shifting. If you already have a driver's seat in there, you can go ahead and just hook the composite node up and get rid of the seat if you want. So it's in there if you want it, but you can replace the seat. All right, next thing we want to look at here is, as you can see where I have the seat sitting, this section here is for the articulating shift handle. So as you can see there, it pitches and it rolls in the appropriate way so that the shift handle will move in the ways that it happens in the real vehicle. All right, so this will be the floor of your tractor. So as you can see, this all this can be copied and put right in to the tractor. This sits over the transmission. I usually like to put one block. That just makes it easier so that these don't hit anything. You can put it right on top if you want, but I recommend one block of gap between the transmission and that. Next thing you'll notice here is this is my air intake. It's being, uh, it's a supercharger. So this is the torque coming off of the engine to turn the supercharger. You have an air intake here. This goes out to your air manifold. So whatever engine you're going to put on here, whatever modular engine you're going to put on here, you need to plumb this up into the air. You can use longer pipes if you want. This is just to show you where this goes. Next, you have the clutch. This is where your modular engine needs to attach. I highly recommend a flywheel with a tractor. That's the, that's the use case when you would be using a flywheel. You can go ahead and put that on there. Uh, potentially later, I'll release one that also has a drivetrain connected. All right, so that is uh, your next section here. In real life, tractor engines are like two gear transmissions smashed together. You have a low range box and you have a high range box. All right. Underneath that, we have the where the power comes out to go to the wheels. So as you see, it tees here. This is so that it can go to front wheels. This is so they can go to rear wheels. Now, in real life, they don't have front wheel drive in these tractors, but in game, it is best if you try to run all the wheels you can. You can look at my dually tutorial, hook up a set of duallys if you'd like. Eventually, I will be releasing chassis that have all of the components, but your wheels would go and attach to that torque tube there. That is how you eventually get it out to the drive system. So it's pretty simple. Again, you want to hook your air manifold up here. You want to hook your, your uh, engine up to this, this clutch, and then you want to hook your wheels up there. The seat is pre-hooked. If you want to hook a different seat, just make sure you drag the composite link. Make sure you take the seat, put it on up, down, whatever you want to control the gear shift with, reset 100%. And then there's one more unaccounted for node here. This is for a backup alarm. If you want to put a backup alarm on here, you, you can take a buzzer. I'll actually include it with the packs. Take the buzzer, put it on whatever you want for your noise, and just hook that right up. That will beep. So it's already set in there to beep. As you can see, if we go ahead and we look in the box, you can see right here, it has the uh, reverse alarm right here. It has a blinker, one second on, one second off. So it's going to buzz as you're in reverse. You'll have four reverse speeds on the 18 speed transmission. You'll have 18 forward speeds. All right. So that is how this is set up. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put it down there in the uh, questions at the bottom of the workshop page. But this should work for the 10 speed and the 18 speed. So uh, that is it for this. So a uh, bunch of people have been asking for this, so I finally uh, tried to get it released. So, all right, so I'll show you the transmission. This is my Mac Pinnacle. This is already released in the workshop as a 10 speed version. This is the 18 speed. It is all hooked in here. 
And I'll show you how it works. So, pretty simple. So, as I shift through the gears, as you notice, the position of the shift knob is correct for the 18 speed transmission. And then, if we go all the way down through, there's reverse, reverse two, reverse three and reverse four. So you have four speeds of reverse in there, as you can see. So I hope you guys uh, found that helpful, and I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one.